Hey YouTube, it is Snow Square MQ and my dog is barking because he enjoys doing that. Actually, I actually don't know what he's barking at. Anyways, um, it is Snow Square MQ as always. Hello. Um, I am here with a Wellness Wednesday. Um, today we're going to be doing a DIY. I think this is my first Wellness Wednesday ever. Um, don't worry about it. Uh, so Wellness Wednesday is not always going to be a DIY. Today it is, um, but it's always going to be just like a little bit of something that I do to feel good about myself, like something self-care or um, something that makes me happy. So Wellness Wednesday. Um, today we are actually going to be making something that I really, really like. Um, and I've kind of used it to replace what I've already used. Um, and that is a DIY shaving cream. I know it looks really weird. I know it's a weird color. Um, don't worry about it. Everything in it is a-okay. Um, you can make it vegan if you want to. You can make it all natural if you want to. Um, but it's a really nice replacement for canned shaving cream and it's actually really cheap in the long run too. Um, so before we get started, let me go ahead and show you everything that I used and put in it and then we'll roll the video. All right, so I used four ingredients. You can get away with only using three. You can get away with using more. It's all up to you. Um, I've done it using only three of them before. I think I'm gonna like it better this way using all four ingredients. Um, so let's just jump right into what those are. So first, I have a bar of soap. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this brand name. It's TGIN. Um, you can use whatever soap you want. I just shave off a little bit or cut off a little bit and melt it down just to help give my shaving cream some more body and more fullness. Um, that way it's not so like watery and, and kind of sli slimy, slippery, slimy and slippery. Our next ingredient um, is going to be coconut oil. You can use purified, unrefined, I don't even know how many different things this comes in. As long as it's coconut oil, um, you can use it. And I did find that if you happen to be a fan of or eat them regularly, um, you can actually make your own coconut oil at home. Um, this is much less work and I don't eat coconut. I don't like eating coconut or the taste of it, so I don't buy the fruit, I guess, it's coconut the fruit. Um, I don't purchase that because I'm not going to use it. Our next ingredient is going to be some shea butter. It doesn't have to be this kind, doesn't have to be this brand. Um, as long as it's shea butter, it's fine. I actually just picked this up. I don't know if you can tell, but I buy a lot of my stuff from Target, um, especially on clearance. But I have some chunky, oh, chunky yellow. Um, I think this is the unprocessed. Yeah, this is the unrefined shea butter. You can use refined, you can use whatever you want to. Um, it's your preference. This just happens to be mine. And then last, but not least, um, our last ingredient is aloe vera gel. Um, I don't recommend using like, you know, one that's got all the stuff in it, the dyes and everything. Um, this is just what I had on hand and I didn't want to buy anything extra to make this shave gel. Um, so this is what I have. It's not the best because it does have um, lidocaine and menthol in it, which I don't think is great for shaving your legs. Um, I don't know. Um, honestly, if I had my way, I'd go out, get an aloe vera plant, take care of it, and use the gel from that. Um, but I don't have the ability to do that right now. Um, but those are all of our ingredients. You can make this vegan. Um, you can make it um, all natural. Um, you can do whatever you want. They do make vegan glycerin soaps. Um, I don't think that this one is... Yeah, I don't think this one is um, a vegetable glycerin soap. Um, but they do make vegan soaps and they're usually made with veggie glycerin instead of animal byproduct glycerin. Um, I'm not vegan. I 
it's something I'm looking into. Look, don't judge me. We'll get into it later. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and show you the process of how it's all made because it's really, really easy and it's so cheap, you guys. I swear, you're going to replace all of your shaving creams. All right, so the first thing you want to start off with is a bowl of your partially melted soap shavings. Um, it will be easier if you cut your soap into smaller pieces. As you can see here, I didn't really do that. Um, I thought about it in the, uh, in the end. I did think about it and I think that would be best. Um, but you just want to stir it up. Make sure it's as melted as you can get it. Sometimes soap can be a little bit stubborn um, and it doesn't want to melt. Next, you're going to add your coconut oil. Remember, you want equal parts of everything, um, including the melted soap. Um, it just depends on texture in the end. This is how I like it. Your coconut oil should start to melt on contact. If it doesn't, um, just pop it in the microwave for 10 seconds, even less, honestly, um, and just stir it in until it's all melted away. All right, the next thing you're gonna wanna add, um, and you can do this in any order, but this is how I like it. Um, go ahead and add your aloe vera gel um, or aloe vera, I guess, plant um, matter gel. I don't really know um, what an aloe vera plant would be considered if you scrape the gel out from the inside. Um, and then the last thing you're gonna add is your shea butter. Um, now do keep in mind, shea butter um, doesn't have a really high melting temperature, um, but it is a little bit higher than the coconut and the aloe vera gel. So just keep that in mind um, during this process. It would have been better had I maybe cut mine down a lot more um, and it would have melted a lot easier. I did have to pause and take it to the microwave and melt it down a little bit, um, but it did in the end start working and it left my shaving gel with a really, really nice earthy scent. And you just want to mix that in as best you can. Um, like I said here, it probably would have been best um, had I cut my shea butter down a little bit and my soap a little bit. Um, you know, you kind of want to grate those almost. Um, and as you can see here, I had to pause because I had to go microwave it, um, which is okay. It is okay to do. Um, the really important part is that you just want to make sure that you're keeping it well stirred, well whipped. You don't want any of the ingredients to start separating from each other. All right, so I had to take it to the microwave a few times, but after it's all well mixed in, um, I do still have a little bits of soap that didn't want to melt, but that's okay. We can use those too. Um, you just want uh, something that you can easily hold this in, um, and easily access while you're in the shower. Um, I actually use this little reclaimed jar that um, some conditioner came in, actually. Um, and what you wanna do as this is cooling is you do want to make sure it's well stirred and well whipped. Um, the goal here is to actually whip the soap so that it will give you kind of a fluffy texture and won't dry really hard down in the jar to where you can't get it. Um, I do recommend using a glass jar as your little um, shave gel vessel. Um, if you don't have one, plastic is okay, but you do want to make sure it's a microwave safe plastic just in case you added maybe a little bit too much soap um, and it dried really hard in the container. As you can see, um, mine was taking a really long time to cool down because I had to microwave it quite a lot. so. I went and got a bowl of ice and just tried to give it a nice little ice bath. Um, it is better to stir your soap while it is cooling down, um, but sometimes things just don't work out okay and you might have to stick it in the fridge or in the freezer. Just make sure you check on it and stir it as best you can um, while it's cooling down. So after it hardens 
quote unquote hardens. Um, what you're going to be left with is this kind of weird, <laughs> I don't know, it's like halfway between a gel and a soup. Um, if you want yours to be a little bit firmer, um, melt down some more soap and whip it into it as it cools down. Um, I'm still pretty sure that it's just really hot here because I am in Texas and that's why it's kind of melting down. Um, because I did put it in that ice bath and I noticed that the parts that were touching the ice were um, a lot firmer than this. So I think it's just because it's Texas, I'm under lights, and it's a little bit hot in here. Um, but yeah, that should be your shave gel. If you want it firmer, add a few more soap shavings and melt those down. Um, if you want it soft, don't add any soap shavings at all. Um, it can be whatever that you want it to be. Anyways, you guys, that's my Wellness Wednesday DIY shaving cream, shaving gel. Um, I hope you really, really like it. Um, it is a very, very highly moisturizing shaving gel. Um, so if you get like ashy knees, like I do, or really, really dry knees, um, it should definitely, definitely help. Um, you do definitely want to use it in the shower though, because if you don't like wash it off with water, it kind of leaves a slickness, um, which some people like. I don't, um, but I've had friends who've tried it out and they like it a lot. So, anyways, you guys, that's my Wellness Wednesday. As always, I love you guys. Stay cool, stay cubed, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Toodles.